Kashmir with its natural bounties is a sight to behold. Snow-clad mountains, pristine rivers and fertile plains present countless opportunities. Agriculture is the mainstay of Kashmir economy with 80% of the population associated with it in one way or the other. As the stress on natural resources increases throughout the world, India and with it Jammu and Kashmir hasn't been spared. Every passing day, farming and related activities take a toll on the planet. There is an increasing need for development of sustainable agriculture. To fight this global crisis, India rolled out National Innovations on Climate Resilient Agriculture, NICRA, a network project of the Indian Council of Agricultural Research under the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers' Welfare Government of India during 2011. NICRA has adopted 123 villages in India through various Krishi Vigyan Kendras and agricultural universities. KVK Pulwama under the aegis of Skost Kashmir has adopted village Wakarwan under the Nikra project. The area which has been brought under the project comprises of 123 households. Rishi Vijayan Kendra Pulwama mein ek 2011 mein ek project start hua tha. Iska naam hai Nikra National Initiative Climate Resilient Agriculture. Is project mein humne ek select ek village select kiya tha jo adopted village hai uska naam hai Wakarwan. उसके साथ साथ हमने और भी कुछ विलेज जो एडजस्टेड विलेज से उनको भी इसमें सिलेक्ट किया था हमने तो हम जो अभी उसमें जितना भी हम जो भी इंटरवेंशन हम कर रहे हैं उसमें हम ये खास ख्याल रखते हैं कि ये क्लाइमेटिक वालनेबिलिटी जो है जैसे इसका नाम ही आया था नेशनल इनिशिएटिव क्लाइमेट रेजिलिएंट एग्रीकल्चर उसी के हिसाब से हमने जो भी इंटरवेंशन की है उस हिसाब से हमने की हुई है to help the village as per Nikra guidelines, a number of technological interventions are being carried out in the village that will help the farmers to adapt to the changing climate. <laughs> guidance <laughs> A mini weather station has been set up where a student was trained in climate risk management. The student assists the farmers to take timely location specific decisions in farming according to weather patterns. The weather station has equipment like single Stevenson screen, minimum and maximum thermometers, dry and wet bulb, rain gauge, wind vane and anemometer. Another intervention by NICRA are the soil health cards. Soil is becoming unhealthy day by day. Excessive use of fertilizers and fungicides in the village has increased soil pollution. 120 soil samples were collected and analyzed for different macro and micronutrients so that the farmers understand the balanced amount of fertilizers to be used. So far, 500 soil health cards have been distributed in the Nikra village and adjacent villages during these years, which have benefited a lot. Bakarwan has been facing water shortage during cropping season as it is a craver or drought-prone area with no other irrigation other than from rain. As such, this Kendra initiated water harvesting techniques which has proved successful under Nikra project. Apart from water harvesting structure, water has been lifted up to 1500 feet from low-lying areas to hills. 
around 10,000 to 20,000 liters of rainwater is harvested through these harvesting techniques. Another useful intervention is vermicomposting. Vermicomposting has applications that can reduce global warming. Using worms for composting has been shown to reduce the methane and nitrous oxide levels in landfills, which are worse for the environment. Farmers were assisted in constructing the vermicompost units and the material needed for constructing the pits. Regular inspection and guidance was provided to the beneficiaries wherever required. The compost can then be used as manure which enriches the soil without polluting it. Pulwama is also called the rice bowl of Kashmir. Rice is cultivated in an area of 0.25 lakh hectare with a production of 4.28 lakh quintals. Paddy is practically cultivated on 17.5 hectare of area at Wakarwan with a low production of 4 ton per hectare. To overcome the low productivity, KVK Pulwama introduced a system of rice intensification technique at Wakarwan with scorched Kashmir released varieties SR3 and SR4. These have shown encouraging results. Initially, two to three farmers were selected for SRI technique with proper guidance. Improved seeds of paddy SR4, Cornovida, and selected farmers observed huge tiller development in SRI crop and overall crop health. I smell it as a food. 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 I Apple is the most important fruit crop of the Kashmir Valley. Talking about productivity at Wakarwan village, it is very low at 5.9 metric ton per hectare and requires lot of irrigation and water for spray of fungicides and remunerative prices are very low. To accommodate more number of plants per hectare in order to increase production per unit area, semi-dwarf plants MM106 rootstock were planted. These bear fruit just after three years. We have introduced apple high density orchards in the village, which is the production of the production of the as compared to their traditional orchards. In addition to that, उनको पानी की जरूरत पड़ती थी उन apple orchards में तो साथ ही साथ हम निकराग प्रोजेक्ट के तहत कृषि विज्ञान केंद्र पलवामा ने उनको drip irrigation system भी वहाँ पे facility provide कर दी. More crop per drop, drip irrigation in high density plantation can make use of water in an efficient manner. The goal of doubling farmers' income by the year 2022 is possible with high-density farming. Farmers earned around Rs 70,000 per canal during the first year of bearing. Okay. When I make Gishma near and get sort word year subsuhun, you spoke about Rama Yapurin. Attachpa lagan tour about gas banners can't tie him, Zuda lagnas a calagasa, Pachus Bakaran Yuzi, and the Kishnama year gas amu. Next in line is the first time production of biogas ever in Kashmir in Wakarwan. Biogas is eco friendly and reduces soil and water pollution. Biogas generation produces organic fertilizer as well. Biogas is a simple, low-cost technology and healthy cooking and alternative to LPG. Nikra also helped Wakarwan in protected cultivation of vegetables after the devastating floods of 2014. 
Ten poly houses were set up in the adopted village which helped them to get back on track again. The farmers were greatly benefited by this technological intervention. At the end of the season, a farmer, Muhammad Yusuf Mir, was able to produce six quintals of leaves of Kanyari Saag, 6,000 seedlings of Nol Kohl, 30,000 seedlings of cabbage, 20,000 cauliflower seedlings, 18,000 brinjal seedlings, 25,200 tomato seedlings, and 18,400 capsicum seedlings. The Sasadas Mazasil Puri Veli Solapsit and Tabagai. Time very has to touch no more in greenhouse. Malankor Pet Ayashim Absor Yor, you moved in greenhouse. The Padis training ticket can carry out Poidic can white you. Patasilimo Buol to do touch to Ashu Wo in this percourage Amal to Ushat Quaria Poido to land Panicot to Sabzi Banawan or Bishik Bakenti Kansan Customer and Ishikanan. Kashishno Satambar Patu, which only Sabuz Sabzi Panyagarish. Ushon want us to come up and Miss Gary Sabzi here. I miss Kibarka, Pali House Kibarka. To enhance the returns from the available land, Krishi Vigyan Kendra Pulvama introduced intercropping systems like garlic apple, pea apple, moong apple, rajma apple. During the years 2015 to 2019, 80 farmers were involved in the intercropping. By 2020, 200 farmers from the village and adjacent villages have adopted to resilient intercrops with most farmers reporting yield of 10 quintals per hectare moong with 15,000 net returns, rajma 14 quintals per hectare with 59,000 net return, and garlic 33 quintals per hectare with a benefit of 72,500. Climatic variability is expected to disproportionately affect smallholder farmers and make their livelihoods even more precarious. In order to help farmers improve their livelihood, button mushroom cultivation was taken up in Vakarwan. Mushroom cultivation was never carried out earlier. In Vakarwan, there are two to three water springs. Water from these springs got wasted as there was no proper management. In order to utilize this spring water, KVK Pulvama introduced polyculture for rearing fish and poultry. It is a combination of rearing fish and poultry where poultry droppings and waste feed can be used as a feed for fish. Bunches guard. Piatch of Hal Travans is Lagan Garden. Quakran tish of Hoy the Garden tish Hoy. Teen has the Toshesh, the Tajol, the Tost, Bon Husband Oak. You must do pit carriage. Another intervention by Nikra is increasing the low milk yield during winters by the introduction of silage making. Silage making is a process of preservation of green fodder like maize under anaerobic condition. There are various methods of silage making like silo pits, silage bags. Talking about silage pits, there are certain steps like chopping up green fodder into small pieces, chopped forage are placed into the pit and spread into thin layers. One of the most important thing is pressing with feet to make the air to prevent from fungal attack. Milk production was increased from 12 litres per day to 15 litres per day. In winter months, it was maintained at 15 litres per day. Cattle health is of prime importance to increase the yield. Therefore, Nikra conducted regular animal health camps in Vakarwan where health checkups were done on animals as well as deworming in livestock and mitigation of mineral deficiencies in animals and popularization of backyard poultry. To meet the fodder requirement in dry and winter months, two fodder banks were constructed at the Nikra village with a capacity of three tons. Fodder banks involve storing of hay and silage. 
to help the farmers in carrying out timely operations and help overcome climatic vulnerabilities a custom hiring center was set up at wakarwan the center is stocked with equipment like water pumps power sprayer power tillers and tractors etc a committee of farmers manages the custom hiring center The rates for hiring the equipment are decided by the village climate risk management committee. Apart from these important interventions, many extension activities like training camps, kisan melas, group discussions etc are conducted regularly. Adoption of Wakarwan by Nikra has changed the way farming and animal rearing was conceived in the village. The produce is more while the stress on environment is greatly decreased. This is the future where sustainable farming is the only option. Let's hope that many other villages are picked up and move forward like Wakarwan has.